Are you sick and tired of your photos only representing one moment in time? Do you wish that you could show both day and night in one image? Do you have Photoshop? Have you turned on post notifications? Well, then you've come to the right channel. My name is Matthew van der Pitter. I am a time-lapse photographer based in Sydney, Australia, and this channel is all about time-lapse, travel, and teaching. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do this. There we go. To have the perfect day to night fade photo, you need two things. One is a photo of your subject by day, and two is a photo of your subject by night, or the other way around. Ideally, you're shooting this on a tripod, and you might as well shoot a time-lapse while you're at it. If you wanna know how to shoot a time-lapse from day to night, check out some of my previous tutorials. You can find them in the playlist or on the blog. With one single time-lapse shoot, you can shoot the stills that you need for this. You can shoot a time-lapse video, and you can get really creative in post-production with the footage that you shoot. So, in my opinion, you should always be shooting time-lapses because they just, you've got so much use for the footage. Now, once you're done shooting and you've got your beginning and end photo, take those photos. Take the photo that you like uh, before the sun has set or the sun has risen if you're doing the opposite and take the photo on the other side of the shot and then open both of them in Photoshop. Copy one photo on top of the other photo and add a layer mask. Once the layer mask is activated and you're in it, select the gradient tool and drag the tool over the screen. Straight away you'll see what happens. For straight lines, hold shift while you're dragging the tool. Because of the mask, which determines which pixels to hide based on their gray value, we're doing what is called non-destructive editing, meaning you can always return back to the original state of the photos. Quick side note, use the brush tool to play around in the mask. You'll see that you don't have to use the gradient tool, and this will give you a deeper understanding of how Photoshop masks work. Once you're done, export your photo, upload it to Instagram, and hope that you get heaps of likes. If you liked this video, then like that like button. Is that a thing? Click that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, that would be great. If you want to support the channel, check out my blog or my Patreon, where you can support me directly. Uh, there's not much to add to the end here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. My name is Matthew. I'm at Matt Charles on every social media platform. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bloop. Blooper time. Ooh, is this on? Oh, damn. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 Oh, ooh. Mm.